Yo, my name is Cody A. Banks and I just dropped my latest Vector Pack, Shoot Pack Volume 1. If you're familiar with my previous Vector Pack, this is the exact same concept, except this time we have 12 different shoe designs plus three pairs of shoes that you can add to your own characters. This is the perfect pack for adding a little bit of flair to your characters and making sure they have the freshest kicks. So let me show you real quick how you can implement the shoe pack to your own designs. All right, so this is what the pack will look like once you get the file downloaded. We have our 12 individual shoes up here and our three pairs of shoes down here. If you're working on a character that's in a walking pose, this top row would be perfect for the front foot. In this second row, we have one back foot for a walking pose, and then we have three standing pose shoes over here. In this third row, we have another back foot right here, along with a few other miscellaneous poses. And then finally, this bottom row, we have three different pairs of shoes. This one is a standing pose. This is another standing pose, and then we have a side profile walking pose right here. So for our quick example, I'm gonna grab this front foot and this back foot, and we're gonna bring these into a new project file. So we'll copy Command V to drop them in our new project. And we'll place this front foot right here in the front. We'll shrink this back foot down a little bit and put it right about here. To make sure they match, we can double click on this shoe, select this white shape here, and we can just delete that. And then we can delete this line right here too. We can shrink this one down a little bit more now. And we're gonna keep this character really simple. So we'll just do a circle for the body. We can make him yellow. And we'll just give him a super simple smile face like this. And then basically all you need to do is add the legs. So we're gonna use the pen tool, P on your keyboard. Bring it down this way. And you can leave that shape wide open. Go ahead and click on your front shoe and command shift right bracket to bring it back to the front. And that's your leg. That's as simple as just making a rectangle connecting the body to the shoe. Just to give it a little bit of separation, I'm gonna add a sock to the leg. So we can double click on this leg here and we'll just draw in a little sock like this. Make a little curvy line like that. Bring it back up, add a few more like that. And then we can make this white. Add a few detail lines like this. And let's just group all of that together with Command G. And now we have a sock. So now we'll do the back leg. This one will be kind of in a curved position. So again, with our pen tool, curve it down like this, bring it back up curved. And we're gonna send this all the way to the back, Command Shift left bracket, and make that yellow with your eyedropper tool. That's I on your keyboard. Go ahead and adjust this leg so it's a little bit further forward. Let's just grab the leg and the shoe, drag it this way a little bit. And I want there to be a little gap right here between the legs just to differentiate the two. So we'll adjust it like that. All right, that looks good. And we can just add a small shadow here for the back leg and make that black and then let's add a sock to this back leg as well so we'll double click on here again and then just go ahead and draw in the same idea a couple curves bring it down this way make that white group them together command G all right, and then what I like to do to ground the character is add a shadow beneath each shoe. So I'll just hit L on your keyboard and we can make a circle right here underneath the shoe. Command shift left bracket to send it to back and just adjust it. And we can option drag another one up this way and then shrink it down a little bit. So that just grounds the character so it doesn't look like he's just floating in midair. Lastly, we'll add some arms and hands real quick from my hand pack volume one. 
we can bring in this guy and let's go ahead and grab this guy. So command C, we'll bring those into this file. We're gonna have this hand up here. Let's make that yellow. We're gonna reflect this hand so it's facing the other way. Object, transform, reflect, vertical. And we'll make this one yellow too, of course. Rotate it and bring it down here. And it's as simple as grabbing these three points with your direct select tool. That's A on your keyboard. Drag it up this way. We can zoom in and we're gonna select this middle point. Go ahead and delete it. So now you have the open shape and it connected right to the body right there. For this hand, we're gonna do pretty much the same thing. Grab these three points, bring it down this way, and we're gonna send this all the way to the back with Command, Shift, Left Bracket. Now you can make some adjustments if you want to. You can make this arm a little bit skinnier. So let's add a point right here and just bring it down like that. And we'll do the same thing over here. Add a point and then drag it that way. Simple enough, really quick character. Just a quick example to show you how easy it can be to use the shoe pack and the hand pack. I have the link to my shop in the description below. So if you're interested in grabbing the shoe pack, you can head over there right now and pick it up. Drop a comment below if you guys have any ideas for different vector packs that you want to see from me in the future. I definitely plan on dropping some more of these, so let me know what you guys want to see. As always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.